Over the years, cats have made their mark in the film industry with all the sassiness they manage to throw around. They always seem to do a cat-tastic job with their roles, because you know how they say it, cats rule and dogs drool. Watching cats on screen is for sure a visual treat, and there are just too many possum performances to list them all down. Hello, my puny-minded dog-faced opponents. What? Yes, it's on. Well, because I can see the red light blinking. Ugh, stop talking. Hey guys, welcome to Furry Feline Facts, a perfect catalog of cat stats. In today's video, we're looking at the top 10 most popular movie cats. Before we dive in, if you're not a follower of Furry Feline Facts, go ahead and click the subscribe and notification bell. If you are, give yourself a round of applause. Okay, enough kitten around. It's meow or never. Whether they play the protagonist or the antagonist, cats seem to conquer our hearts on screen with their perfect acting. We all have had our favorite cat characters played out by some really possum cats. Let's check this list to find out if we've managed to include your favorites too. Number 10. Snowbell, Stuart Little, 1999. Hi there. Ah! Sorry, didn't mean to scare ya. Scare me? That's a laugh. <laughs> Hear that? Snowbell is the Little's wisecracking pet, Kalala like white Persian cat, and Stuart's best friend. Snowbell is the main antagonist of the book Stuart Little and the deuteragonist of the 1999 film Stuart Little and its sequels. Stuart Little is an American live action comedy film based on the 1945 novel of E.B. White, directed by Rob Minkoff and written by M. Night Shyamalan and Greg Booker. In the film, Snowbell is shown to be a kind hearted, benevolent, empathetic, loyal, lovable, yet selfish coward who's very protective of certain family members, mostly Stuart. He has somewhat of a close relationship with Stuart, almost up to the point where they repeatedly risk their lives for each other. Snowbell has somewhat of a cocky personality in the novel. He often focuses first and foremost on his own needs and frequently gets in trouble as a result, and is the comedic relief throughout the series. Number 9. Lucifer, Cinderella, 1950 Lucifer is Lady Tremaine's pet cat and the third antagonist of Disney's 1950 animated film Cinderella. Lucifer is an overweight cat with black fur and has a black ruffled head, a large pink nose, a white muzzle and green pupils with yellow sclera. He has sharp claws and a toothy grin with two long white whiskers on either side of his upper lip. According to the Disney Wiki, this fat cat's look was based on a pet owned by animator Ward Kimball. He is portrayed as a sly, wicked, and manipulative mouse consumer with the only apparent motive of making Cinderella's life harder and more miserable. Lucifer is also very ambitious and ruthless, going to any lengths to kill the pet dog Bruno, as well as the birds and mice who are loving friends and allies of Cinderella. <laughs> Lucifer is an extremely spoiled, pompous, filthy, and gluttonous cat who is hostile towards Cinderella, constantly trying to sabotage her plans and get her into trouble. Number 8. Mr. Jinx Meet the Parents, 2000 How could anyone forget Jinx, the beloved kitty who caused more than a little mischief in the 2000 hit Meet the Parents? The role of Jinx the cat was played by two five-year-old Himalayan cats named Bailey and Misha. The beautiful and well-trained Himalayan Persian cat who knows how to use a toilet and even flush is a constant thorn in Ben Stiller's side throughout the movie. I don't not like cats. I, I just I just prefer dogs. I mean, I'm just more of a dog kind of, you know. The cat, who famously pees in the ashes of a family relative, gave him a lot of grief and is the key behind so many jokes in this 2000 comedy classic. <laughs> Oh. 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 oh! 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 my God! Did you know? According to an article, the animal trainer Dawn Barkin now owns two of the remaining Mr. Jinx cats, named Peanut and Charlie. In the sequel, Meet the Fockers, the original Jinx has returned and is unbelievably cunning as he flushes a dog down an RV toilet. 
Number 7. Mr. Bigglesworth, Austin Powers, 1997-2002 to Played by a naturally bald Egyptian sphinx cat named Ted Nudgent, Mr. Bigglesworth is Dr. Evil's beloved pet in the Austin Powers movie series. Mr. Bigglesworth used to be a long-haired Persian, but 30 years spent in a cryogenic chamber turned him and Dr. Evil permanently bald. Dr. Evil's hairless companion is nearly evil as him and is also potentially a murderer by proxy. After all, when Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset, people die. Mr. Bigglesworth is a parody of Bond villains who often held similar animals. Ted Nugent was named Cat of the Year by Cats Magazine in 1999 and continued to work for several years in TV commercials and ad campaigns before dying in 2010. And here, Mr. Bigglesworth. <laughs> Number 6. Thacker Barry Binks, Hocus Pocus, 1993. Thacker Barry Binks is one of the tritagonists in Hocus Pocus a 1993 American comedy film directed by Kenny Ortega and written by Neil Cuthbert and Mick Garris. In this Disney favorite, Binks, the talking cat, helps a group of kids thwart a trio of witches. Thackerberry Binks began life as a regular boy back in the 17th century, but has turned into a talking black cat by Winifred after failing to rescue his little sister from the trio of witches, the Sanderson sisters. <laughs> Binks is shown to be a caring, fierce, brave, and loving brother as he was determined to save his sister Emily from the Wicked Witches, even though he failed. Since then, he guards against the three witches' return every Halloween and makes it his mission to defeat them, even if it means the end of his immorality. When the Sanderson sisters disappear off the face of the earth, his soul is freed and he bids farewell to the kids before reuniting with the spirit of his little sister Emily. The film ends with Winnie's spellbook opening its eye, revealing it is still alive and the witches could return. Number 5. Milo – The Adventures of Milo and Otis, 1986 This orange tabby cat is surely a heart stealer. He's the main protagonist of the Japanese comedy drama film The Adventures of Milo and Otis. His favorite hobby is to explore with his best friend Otis. He gets into trouble very often and his best friend Otis always has his back. They've had some life-threatening experiences. Milo is shown to have a mother who takes care of him and he also has siblings. Later on, we see Milo moving ahead with his life after meeting Joyce and they start a family. Years later, the best friends reunite on the farm and continue together. Milo has had many cameo appearances in films like Buddy, Cats, and Dogs. Number 4. Sassy, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, 1993 This Himalayan cat lives up to her name. She's owned by a young girl named Hope and has a very strong connection with her. She stays along with two dogs with whom she's built a sibling-like bond. She gets along pretty well with Shadow and has no complaints, but when it comes to Chance, the young bulldog, they always have arguments and fights in an attempt to establish their superiority, with Sassy's classic dialogue being, That's rule and dogs drool. They always have the cold sibling war going on, but at the end of the day, they'll be there for each other. Sassy is a teeny bit sarcastic, but also very brave. She's also called Sass Babe and Cupcake by her family. Sassy! Oh, Shadow! Oh, I thought Sassy! Never seen <laughs> Number 3. Mr. Tinkles. Cats and Dogs, 2001 Mr. Tinkles is definitely not a name we would associate with the main antagonist of a film, but it turns out it is. This cat worked toward world domination and his never-dying hatred for dogs fueled his dreams to destroy all dogs. So tell me, one of you, is the dog out of the way? Did the puppy fall for my clever trap? He had a few allies like the ninjas and the Russian. He was spoiled by his caretaker Sophie, but going by his words, he was tortured. He also had a sidekick named Calico. 
Between the first movie and its sequel, he also ended up in jail in Alcatraz, overseen by D.O.G. Even though he managed to escape, he left his computer's live feed on until his henchmen informed him. Embarrassed, Tinkles disconnects after delivering his signature dialogue, Cat's Rule. Number 2. Oliver Oliver and Company, 1988 Oliver is the protagonist of Disney's 1988 movie Oliver and Company, directed by George Schreiber and written by Jim Cox, Tim Disney, and James Mangold. In the film, Oliver is a scrappy orphaned kitty who joins a gang of street dogs to survive. This small and slender orange tabby kitten has three dark orange stripes on his back and a white muzzle and is shown to be brave, friendly, loyal, and protective of those he cares about. Despite his external goodness, he's capable of getting angry, mostly when he feels betrayed, and is a considerably fast learner as he manages to get on several vehicles during the scenes on the streets with his dog friends just as they do. About halfway through the film, Oliver gets adopted by a kind and pretty little girl named Jenny Foxworth and acquires a blue collar with his name and address. Originally pitched as a live-action version of Charles Dickens' Oliver Twist, the film eventually became the upbeat musical adventure we know and love today. Number 1. The Cheshire Cat, Alice in Wonderland, 1951. The Cheshire Cat is a fictional cat popularized by Lewis Carroll in the 1951 Disney animated feature film Alice in Wonderland. He is a mysterious pink and purple striped cat, notable for its broad grin and its ability to disappear and reappear at will. Like all members of Wonderland, he's mad, but unlike others, he's the only one to show kindness and sympathy towards Alice, giving her advice and acting as her guide during her journey. He is very mysterious and has unique abilities that the Wonderland's inhabitants, including the Queen of Hearts, appear to hold fear over him. The mischievous feline is the source of plenty of trouble for Alice during her adventures in Wonderland. And yet, just like most cats that prove themselves to be total jerks at every turn, we can't help but love him. It looks like you ran afoul of something with wicked claws. I'm still dreaming. Well, there you have it. A cat stellar list of the top 10 most popular movie cats. Any predictions for the next Oscars? Oh, I'm sure these cat celebrities won't dispute a bright star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. If you had fun today, hit that like button and let us know in the comments below which is your favorite star from the bunch. And also, add other possum cats to this list. If you're mad about cats, subscribe to Furry Feline Facts, a perfect catalog of cat stats. See you next time.